So I'm going to tell you about a project uh, that we've been working on recently, which is about how to support people to manage their health conditions so that they don't fall out of work and on to benefits. In the UK, we have 2.5 million people who are on health-related benefits. That costs £15 billion a year. But we know that the right work can be good for people. So we took a design-led approach to this. You can see here the Design Council's double diamond approach. Started with diagnosis, going through a discovery phase, developing ideas, and then testing and trialing them. So the first thing we did was to do some data science. We work with Mastodon C uh, to, do, um, to work with the Understanding Society Survey, which is a four-year four -year cohort um, study. And you can see here through the Sankey analysis that the bottom uh, part is people who are um, uh, on health-related benefits. And once you get onto them, it's very, very hard to get off. The second insight uh, came to us through uh, clustering. We use k-means clustering to do a segmentation analysis. And here you can see that people, the people in the dark blue are, people who are, are, are groups of people who are reported to be on health-related benefits. But there's two groups who's for people who um, their health is actually OK, their mental and physical health is OK. So we know for this group that they need a non-health-related intervention of some sort. We also can see that these two groups are quite different. So the higher group has got a higher salary when they previously worked, and the group at the bottom has a lower salary when they previously worked. So that means that the interventions that we need to give as policymakers are quite different for these two groups. So we followed up this uh, big data analysis with some thick data collection. So we did some ethnography, which means going out, speaking to people, spending time with them, observing them in their real lives. And we spoke to 30 GPs, users, um, Job Centre Plus workers, employers. And three really interesting insights came out. One, that no one knows the full story about these people, so can't give proper interventions. Secondly, that confidence in the line manager is actually the, the two key things that leads to someone staying in or leaving work. And finally, that mental health issues are very, very hard to talk to. And this um, came through from a very harrowing story from one woman who was battling with depression for ages but didn't, wasn't able to go and speak to her boss about it. And she was relieved when she got breast cancer because then at least that gave her something physical to go and speak to her boss about. And thankfully, now she's dealing with them both. So we used all that thick data and big data to generate a load of ideas which formed around a kind of um, a health and work coach that you might be able to access in work who would help you navigate non-health related services, who would help you liaise with your employer, and if needed, find a more suitable job. And we uh, wanted to test these out, so we prototyped these in various different local areas. In, in Penzance, right at the bottom of the country, we thought about how employers could refer someone to this service. In Southend, in Essex, not far from here, we thought about how GPs might refer someone uh, to this service. And we also tested out a book that people could use. And now we're um, moving towards making a digital version of this book. And the project has also led to more wide-scale uh, systematic changes. So for example, the creation of a, a, health, a joint health and work unit uh, and a £14 million innovation fund for work and health projects.